Hey everyone and welcome back to Planet Zoo. Today with a little review video of the Africa Pack DLC. And at the end we will also talk a little bit about the 1.6 update and the status quo of uh, Planet Zoo in general. But first of all, this video is meant to make your life a little bit easier when it comes to taking a decision if you should buy the Africa Pack DLC or not. And what my personal opinion is of that, obviously. So, um, spoiler ahead, everything I'm going to tell you is obviously down to my personal preferences. It's nothing that, you know, um, stands for everyone or is kind of the the number one rule or so to say it is definitely that what I personally think about it and hopefully it helps you as I'm someone who plays this game day day in day out so um, yeah let's start first of all with the animals and you can see already here in front the meerkat uh, being in their wonderful little habitat um, so first of all the uh, amount of animals is the same as always in these um, let's say uh, animal slash pieces pack um, we don't have an animal only pack this time so it's back to four habitat animals and the one exhibit animal I already tell you at the very beginning I'm, I'm kind of always scrapping the exhibit animal I know that some people like it um, I you know for me personally it, it is neither hit neither mess or whatever it's it's basically in there and it, actually I don't really care too much about what it is um, because I think we have already some of the greatest exhibit animals were in the base game already such a thing like iguana or the snakes or stuff like that um, and now we have a scrap beetle which is cool you know it has some very unique animations when it comes to uh, the exhibit animals so there's a bit more going on than usually so that's kind of nice but I'm here for the habitat animals so let's start over here with the meerkat and the meerkat is basically um, the star this time I want to say simply because how Frontier realized it with the digging mechanics in here by the way there's also fennec fox moving around um, just so I could make sure that you know uh, everyone can see all the animals because we have some more habitats I'm going to switch through um, the webcams we have over here but the animals are again spot on the meerkat is uh, in terms of animations in terms of digging in terms of everything it's just so cool it's such a unique addition um, to this wonderful pack and it is just absolutely freaking amazing here you can see another angle for the little fellows we can also just move over a little bit and zoom into those look at that one there's just one popping out of the ground so Yes, the animations of the digging are amazing and yes, I also know it is not like the craziest system with like tunnels you can see and stuff like that. It's basically how it works is that they do actually dig at some point and they will just randomly pop up in another hole in the habitat. These holes do stay for a while even though they don't stay forever. Um, and you know, for me personally this is more than enough. I thought when they will realize meerkats we will get some enrichment items such like a burrowing pit or whatever. Um, but the way they did it and realized it Personally, I think it's exactly the sweet spot between going all in and making it kind of with tunnels and like super crazy you have to maintain them with like an underground fence and stuff like that so that they can't escape. Yes, that would have been a step further, but honestly, I don't really know if that would add too much to the game anyways and I think um, the way it is, is is purely fine and I think this is the way it should be and um, yeah so let's move over to our fellow friends the penguins even though there's no one diving right now maybe we can uh, catch someone else later um, but the penguins there is one by the way uh, but the penguins in this game um, have been already pretty nice in terms of the king penguin but we were all missing a smaller penguin of course and now we have the African penguin or also known as the cape penguin in the game and um, I find this a very good addition because uh, in terms of size this is exactly what we needed um, this is a small little friend that you know um, is, is actually helping us to build further a realistic zoo by having different types of diving animals different types of uh, small smaller or bigger animals that can interact with the water in a nice way so um, I'm quite happy as happy as the staff member there in the back um, about the choice and then obviously we also have our friend look, oh my god there's like a baby baby penguin moving around look at that um, then we also have our friends over here the uh, wonderful southern white rhinoceros and um, I, I know that many many people have been waiting for this African version of the rhino we have had the uh, we should see if we can find another angle of those two hey don't move away I think there's over here are they just mating or something um, 
So I am also pretty happy about this one. You can also see another Fennec Fox moving in here. I just put some more in the habitat just to have some life in here. Um, but again, uh, the choice of those four ha habitat animals for me personally is the best in every or in any of the available DLC packs. If you go through the other ones we have, um, I think I would rank the Arctic pack the lowest while this Africa pack DLC now is going to be ranked as the highest in terms of animal choice. Um, I think all of the four uh, integrations to the game are really useful. They are absolutely great additions. They are all fan favorites. They are all zoo favorites if you will um, and and I'm just I, I can only recommend this um, and there's not a single animal I would like to say I, I could miss out on okay to be completely blindly honest with you if you go through the other DLCs um, in the Arctic pack DLC for me personally um, only the, um, the the polar bear was really important uh, the, the reindeer was kind of nice though but everything else um, was not really something I needed you know the, um, then we have also the uh, South American DLC, which um, featured the Jaguar, which obviously was really great. But then again, um, the other animals in there were, again, they weren't animals that I totally needed in my life, you know. Um, they were great additions. Um, the Anteater, for example, is amazing. But then again, you know, it, it doesn't really do too much for me in terms of the game. Uh, if we go further, the Australian pack DLC is already a harder one because that for me personally would be number two or three um, because the kangaroo koala are definitely amazing. The cassowary was a surprising but very welcome choice and um, the dingo potentially would have been the one that I did not really need, you know. And then if we talk about the next one, which uh, was the aquatic pack DLC, of course the otter is great, the king penguin is great and the seal is amazing. The caiman on the other side um, is something, you know, I could have been missing out. But this one over here, there is not a single one I would love to miss out. The rhino is amazing. Um, also, I love the realization of them. The animations and stuff, as always with the animals, is spot on. Um, the fennec fox is amazing. The uh, meerkat, of course, is great. And the African penguin is a very good addition in terms of penguins. Let's see if we can spot some of the small little foxes in here. Um, there are some more. Look at that. There's one going through the grass, just so we can see some of those as well. The rhinos are all in the back. So, yeah, in terms of... Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> I forgot to... I will got to open the zoo. Yeah, yeah, just stay there. You don't need to come in. Um, yeah, just in terms of that, it's all good. Now let's talk about something else, and that is the building pieces in the Africa pack. And this is this is where the actual um, difference comes into play between the old DLCs and this one over here. I'm just going to look if I find another angle where we can spot some better building pieces in here that I use. I'm not really sure if I have a better angle. I think that's, yeah, that's a perfect angle over here. We can see a lot of pieces in. So, um, the, the bit that I find most importantly about these updates or these packs is how much do you get for your money and how much does it change in terms of what you can do with the game and this is where the pieces come into play so we just did a check mark after the animals they're all great they are the best roaster of animals so far in a pack in my opinion but the pieces the pieces are one the one thing that separates this DLC pack from a lot of others uh, because it's just absolutely freaking amazing. Every single piece is usable in a way. Every single piece uh, is kind of unique in its uh, own. But what they did this time is they took an existing theme uh, in, in the game, which is the plaster theme, and they built upon that, making the plaster theme now the, the by far most versatile theme in the game and um, even though sometimes with the DLC you just some, get something completely new and then you say you know what I, I'm not really interested in Africa so I don't need an African theme this time you're not even missing out on an African theme you are missing out on plaster theme and plaster is basically available in all regions meaning that you basically miss out on a basic set so if you want to enlarge your game in terms of building whatever you want this is a must have for you because all of these plaster pieces are going well into the existing plaster theme and they are basically you know enlarging the opportunities you have with the plaster making it a super versatile pack making it absolutely uh, a must-have for everyone who's uh, really into building 
Um, and then there are so many other cool things like the foliage pieces that are great, that are gorgeous. And even even though we had already had some cool things from Africa, um, they they had a good choice. In my opinion, they had a good choice. I heard some people talking about that they missed uh, some opportunities in terms of plants and stuff. I'm not too much of an expert on plants. I can only tell you in terms of the looks of it. Uh, I'm a big fan of this tree over here in the center. I'm also a big fan of the new palm trees. Um, but of course, the, the star is that one over here. The fever tree um, is absolutely amazing. Fun fact, uh, one of you guys told me, and I found this so interesting to, uh, you know, just let you know. Some of you did actually explain to me that the fever tree is called fever pre uh, tree because it was believed that this tree has something to do with um, malaria. But in fact, it, it, it kind of had something to do, but only indirectly because under this tree, there were always a lot of mosquitoes. And so in, in a close range of this tree, it was more likely to get infected by malaria uh, because there were so many mosquitoes. It had nothing to do directly with the tree, but uh, hence this thing is called the fever tree. And I forgot the real name of it, but you guys will tell me in the comments for sure. Okay, so um, this is all I want to say about the building pieces because the building pieces, again, um, are absolutely freaking amazing in this pack. They are super versatile. 99%, at least it feels like, is uh, flexi color, which is also something we haven't seen um, every time in the packs and uh, just it is absolutely amazing. So 11 minutes in, um, I can only say this time the Africa pack DLC for the price tag of $7.99 um, in, in pound I guess and uh, $9.99 in euro and dollars um, is a 100% recommendation. This is, the, this is the first pack where I can easily say a 100% if you can afford it somehow and you love Planet Zoo you're gonna get this DLC because you need it there's everything in this uh, DLC is very useful um, the realization is always is amazing um, the pieces are great uh, the overall feeling the music is nice that you get with it that you can put onto your speakers and stuff um, so all in all it is absolutely my favorite pack so far and actually with quite a distance not gonna lie because the pieces um, actually did make the the gap to the second best uh, a lot bigger now this off my chest let's move over to another view another view that we just like I don't know maybe this one over here with some penguins swimming in here because now I want to talk about the 1.6 update and planet zoo in general now the 1.6 update brought some very cool things as um, webcams, for example. You can see I'm using one of those now to um, move through the areas here and um, it's it's a very nice one. But in general, if you want to see uh, know about all the all the changes and stuff, I have a link to my uh, anal analysis video where you can see everything. Um, but just in general, I think there are, were some really good things that were implemented, such as custom audio and some fixes to the UI and all these kind of things. But as positive as I was about the uh, Africa Pack DLC, I have to step back a little bit in terms of uh, euphoria and, and happiness when it comes to the 1.6 update. It is a chunky one and it is a great one, um, but there are lo loads of things in there that could have been earlier, should have been earlier, and just in general I think it's potentially a tiny bit too late for some of the changes to make it really that big hit that it should be. Um, the game is at a point where I think it is a really really good game when it comes to sandbox playing. Um, we nearly have everything we want uh, except the, the flying of birds for example. Um, we, have, we have kind of a good choice of diving animals now with the integration of bears which is great. Um, we have a good roster of um, different types of animals from all regions across the globe um, which is great. We have a lot of features that were loved in Planet Coaster brought also back now into Planet Zoo. Uh, where are the curbs, by the way? Uh, and barriers, we need them. But anyways, um, other than that, we have all these things. But for me personally, I'm not really sure if that's enough to keep, to keep the people excited, it, especially when it comes to making it the full zoo game that everyone wants. So my personal my personal feeling is kind of split. I think the direction they took with the Africa Pack DLC, with the choice of animals, with the uh, choice of pieces and the pieces they gave us, is absolutely amazing. And that's the that's really hinting at a good at a good you know future. Um, 
also the fact that we have uh, all these mesh and chain link pieces as free update um, is giving me hope that we potentially at some point will see uh, birds in this game. But now we have to talk about the one big thing that as much as I love Frontier and as much as I love the game, you know how much I love it, I, I'm really, um, I, I still would recommend that uh, 10 out of 10 to people who like zoo games and it is still the best zoo game out there. Um, however, I'm a little bit worried if if the time frame that Frontier is very much used to is enough to keep this game alive. So, the the we all know that Frontier has a kind of a rhythm of three months. So now this pack arrived in June. So you can you know we can just count. It's gonna be July. It's gonna be August and end of September. Um, somewhat around will potentially be the next DLC. Somewhat around this uh, this area. You know. Um, and then we of course have October, November and December and we are going to see maybe another one in late December or like a holiday season. If you consider that Jurassic World Evolution is about to drop what is rumored around November, December as well, then um, obviously you can tell that uh, these two DLCs that we can potentially expect uh, during this year will kind of frame the Jurassic World Evolution 2 launch. And Truth to be told, if the next pack is again going to be a, a, a eight animal pack, that's going to be boring AF uh, for like six month time, and then we potentially see a bigger update, hopefully with birds. But here's my point: I'm totally okay if the next DLC is going to be the same quality as the Africa pack DLC, with some significant changes, hopefully already in the free update 1.7 which it will be then i'm totally fine with that if it's gonna be around what i said september hey that would be amazing but then we have to have the chance to get a chunky final update at the end of the year which is not similar to the aquatic dlc it has to be bigger it has to be a 1999 maybe in terms of money and then give us 10 animals and pieces and birds and even more whatever and then you could put out some animal packs just as they did with Jurassic World Evolution 1. That would be really the, the one thing that hopefully could bring life back into the game and make it a long-lasting success. Um, you know, that's that's just my personal, personal opinion on that. But I, I'm really, again, I'm super split on this because um, I love the game. I think Frontier is doing a good job with, with what they have at hand at the moment. Um, the update was really great and, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to creating more in the game. But just my personal thoughts on, on how we move forward and hopefully um, it, at least some of it uh, may become true. And then we will see how this goes in the future. But now, just to sum it up, go there. If you don't have the DLC yet, get it, buy it. It's the best DLC so far. Africa Pack DLC, must have DLC number one you need to get it 1.6 update very solid very good um, all in all a very good update for us in this uh, summer time and now let's keep our fingers hoofs uh, fins and whatever crossed um, for hopefully a great update of things um, towards the end of 2021 so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know in the comments down below what you think about the africa pack dlc the free update and everything else um, which has to do with planet zoo at this point shoot in the comments leave me all of your feedback I'm going to try to answer as much as I can and I will also try to deliver as much as I can as kind of a summary to Frontier so that they know a little bit more about our sentiment. But as always, keep it friendly, keep it polite. We want to do constructive uh, criticism um, to make sure that we can get the best out of it. We know that Frontier listens to the community and so uh, I'm just willing to give them some more input with this. So thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. As always, I really do appreciate it a lot. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up uh, or whatever. Do a comment watch another video or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already this always helps me a lot and now enjoy your time enjoy a weekend stay safe everyone and goodbye